All right, in section uh, 4.3, uh, we're not going to do much, uh, really much of anything. We won't, uh, we're not, uh, we're not uh, doing much. So here, the idea is that I have a couple columns of data, C1, C2, uh, X1, X2, X3, and so forth, Y1, Y2, Y3, dot, dot, dot. And these two columns um, are not paired, okay? So they're not paired. We have no reason to believe uh, that, you know, that if we plotted these uh, data in, this, in these order, right, here's, say, an observation one or two or something. You know, we have no reason to believe that X and Y have anything to do with each other uh, for that particular row. Um, right, you know, I just, uh, uh, there are two different uh, treatments in a categorical situation. Um, you know, they could even be a before and after uh, but if these are not the same people in each row, then who cares? Um, you know, uh, if, if I, uh, for instance, before and after ev an event, um, you know, like you go back to 2001 and the 9-11 events and, and all that, and y you, if you had asked people, um, you know, a few weeks before, 9-11, you know, how safe do you feel, uh, you know, in, walking the streets in the U.S. or whatever, um, you know, uh, from foreign terrorists, you know, uh, you could get very specific, um, you know, probably you, you could have asked just a bunch of random people and then after the events of 9-11, you could have asked the same sort of question, uh, but not of the same people. And, and if you did that, uh, you wouldn't expect that, you know, one, uh, one row had any, the, you know, in this row that the observation X1 had anything to do with Y1. If they were the same people, ah, then maybe, uh, well, not maybe, if they, you know, if this was, if this was one person uh, for both columns, I would say they're paired data. But if they're not the same person, these are just um, uh, two different points in time, but you ask different sets of people, then these are not paired, okay? They don't really have anything to do with each other. So section 4.3 wants to know, you know, is there a difference in these two means? You know, um, the, the question is about X bar uh, minus Y bar, you know, or, uh, you know, is that equal to zero? Uh, in other words, is there no difference in the means or um, is x bar minus y bar not equal to zero. That's, this is our basic hypothesis test. So there's h0, there's ha, and this is what they want to look at. Now, what we would have to use the techniques uh, of this section to get a confidence interval, um, but I'm not going to worry about that. And then uh, we could use the techniques of, of this uh, section uh, to answer this question, but um, we can also uh, use the use 4.4. And 4.4, we aren't stuck with two columns. So in 4.3, you know, it is exactly uh, two columns. Well, that's kind of limiting. Now, it comes up a lot. I just want to check two things. Um, but, you know, so maybe, uh, you know, C1 is a placebo in something, and C2 is uh, a treatment, an actual treatment. Um, and I want to see, was there a difference between the placebo and the actual treatment as far as uh, effectiveness and whatever I'm looking at. And, and so, um, sure, you know, that comes up. But we can analyze two columns exactly the same way we analyze three or more columns. And so uh, for us, 
we're just going to go to section 4.4. So I, I want you to know what we're not doing in 4.3. You know, we are not looking at a particular method uh, for getting confidence intervals on the difference of two means uh, or uh, getting a hypothesis test on the difference of exactly two means using this one particular method. Okay, the thing is, uh, as we found in uh, the previous chapter with chi-square and so forth versus uh, the, the uh, single proportions and all that, we can do the work here uh, as soon as we're talking about comparing two variables and in this case the one variable is what these columns have to do with. That's a variable, okay, that's a categorical variable and that's the explanatory variable and then the response is whatever these numerical values have to do with and that's our numerical variable and, and so we um, we just want to look at uh, comparing two variables uh, one categorical as the explanatory one numerical as the response and um, this, you know, again, 4.3 looks at a categorical variable with exactly two columns. Not three, not one. And uh, again, for uh, section 4.4, we can do as many columns as we want. We can do two, three, four, any number of multiple columns. So that's where we're going to spend our time. Okay? And that is what I'm going to say about section 4.3.